to move into our brief interlude. It's called Hidden Gems. So the folks that come on the show have been playing the format for a long time. Uh, they, I guess we, play cards that some players might not have ever heard of. So we discuss those cards in each episode in our feature segment that we like to call Hidden Gems. Uh, Toby, what's your card this time? So I I'm picking a card that the first time I ever played it against you, you mocked me for it. <laughs> and immediately after that game, it became Kill on Sight. Um, oh, no, not vicious. No, not vicious. Oh, I thought, you, I thought it was going to be vicious shadows. <laughs> no, although I did, I didn't think about it. You were, um, you were roundly mocked at the table. I was for playing vicious shadows, and then you killed us all, and we saw the light. Yes. Well, you all had so many cards in the yeah. hand. That, that was your fault. Um, no, the card I'm going for today is a green enchantment from Urza Saga called Fecundity. Oh, yeah. And fe Fecundity is has very simple rule text. It essentially just says. Whenever a creature dies, its controller draws a card. Now, nowadays in green, drawing cards isn't quite what it was. I mean, there's a lot of green card draw, and mm -hmm. it, but back then, green really struggled. But green also made a ludicrous number of tokens. Right. So, um, I, still does. I had an Ulash deck that was devoted to making all the tokens. Uh -huh. Um, I, I've, I've liked playing token decks. I built a token deck back in Legends days using Serpent Generator and the Hive. <laughs> back when tokens were really, really bad. Well, so I love making tokens. The tokens were good. They were just really expensive. Well, they weren't good. They were a 1-1 one, one Flyer and a 1-1 one, one Poison, I think, or something terrible. Like, <laughs> yeah, they were terrible. But I still liked making tokens. Sure. So um, Fecundity would draw me... You know, I, I would make... I'd have a Michael Oth out or something, and it would make six tokens, and they would get Goblin Bombardment, draw six cards, and, you know, your first reaction to this card is, well, everybody's drawing cards, you know, everybody's got creatures, and no, everybody has a few creatures, you can engineer it so that you have a lot of creatures, yes. and if, if you have a lot of creatures, Fecundity is cheap and draws you way more cards than everybody else, mm -hmm. and because everybody's drawing cards, it takes less fire than most of those sort of enchantments. Oh yeah, I mean cuz everybody's point. like everybody's like I can kill this thing, but you know I I'm, I'm going to this gonna guy's going to die. I'm going to draw a card off of it. I don't want to kill that. That's what you yeah, you players players greed gets the best of them and they they mm -hmm. they suffer things like that and Edric Spymaster of Trust to live when mm -hmm. when they just like, "Well, I want to draw cards too." And that always kill for <laughs> Sweet. That's a, the fecundity is a very sweet throwback pick. Uh, my pick is Dross Harvester. Uh, it is uh, a one black black creature that's a horror. It's from Weatherlight. Uh, it has protection from white. It's a 4-4. Four, four, and at the beginning of your end step, you lose four life. That would seem like, well, that's that's a terrible creature. Uh, but then the operative is... Operative is Whenever a creature dies, you gain two life. And I've played this enough times where I put it on the battlefield and people who haven't seen it before are like, that's kind of bad. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Wait for it. And, you know, in Commander, creatures die a lot. And the first time somebody wipes the board, you're going to end up with this giant pile of life. And... You're also playing black, so you're going to cycle creatures in and out of your graveyard anyway. And that little kick of two life, it adds up and adds up and adds up. Until somebody plays Sulfuric Vortex and you're really, really <laughs> sad. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, sure. Uh, Erebos, God of the Dead, good game. <laughs> yeah. But no, that, that, that's a sweet card, because... How big is it? It's 4-4. Four, 4-4? Four. Four, four? For a 3... Or is it a 3-4? Let me double... No, it's definitely... It's, it's bigger than that. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it's a 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and even if you play it early, you know, play it on turn two or turn three, you're like, ah, oh, I'll take the hit this, you know, this time. But then, you're, you know, you're getting in with some damage, you're starting your, you're starting your thing where you're, you know, you play your Wood Elves and then sacrifice it or whatever. And it, like I said, it pays for itself really, really fast. Plus, you can find ways to abuse that you, that loss of life periodically. Hmm. Well, I mean, even if you're not gaining life... I, yeah, there, there are cards that will take advantage of that. 
Um, hmm. re- repay in kind is sort of the the poster child hey. for losing a lot of life and not gaining it, <laughs> <laughs> and not caring. We hope you get some. <laughs> we we hope you get some mileage out of our hidden gems, and of course, the feature will be back next week. <laughs>